Hey ladies, you can have a guilt-free summer even if you love wine. I hear you. You want to stick with your diet this summer, but 2020 sucked out loud and you want to do all of the things. You've given yourself the same mental pep talk year after year and you tell yourself, this is the year I'm going to stick to my diet no matter how good the brownies look. You're not going to fall victim to peer pressure. Seriously, you're a grown ass woman. You've got two superpowers, willpower and discipline, and they've never let you down before. All right. Seriously, we've all done that pep talk, right? Guess what? This is the year that you are going to give up the spanks and not let that plate of brownies bring you to your knees. I have created a guilt-free summer guide where I break down how that you can enjoy your summer with any of the guilt or shame about what you're eating or drinking and still enjoy your summer. So ladies, I'm laying it out there for you. You got a few choices. You can continue to do keto. You can chase your tail trying to string 75 good days together for the 75 hard or be miserable eating 1,200 calories or you can grab the guilt-free summer guide so that you are not avoiding all of the things that you want to do this summer and you finally are giving yourself peace of mind for not stressing out over, am I doing enough? So grab the guilt-free summer guide right now. Welcome to the Fit Girl Magic Podcast. If you are ready to find your inner magic, develop great habits, and a rock steady mindset to feel confident, comfortable, and fit in your body, you are in the right place. I am Kim Barnes Jefferson, and I'll be giving you weekly doses of health, fitness, and life tips sprinkled with humor and real talk. If you're ready to be consistent without the stress of perfection, magic makers, it's time to slip into your favorite pair of PJs, grab some coffee, kick back, and listen to today's show. Hey, magic makers, I'm here and it is my 100th podcast. Can you believe it? I am so excited about this. Well, actually... Let me say correction. This podcast, I was supposed to have a guest. It was going to be the woman who who literally gave me the kick in the butt to say, just girl, just do it. And we had a last minute scheduling change and she was unable to um, be the guest. So I was like, oh crap, what am I going to do? And, you know, we all have those oh crap moments, you know, and it made me think to myself of, you know, a lot of my clients have those oh crap moments and sometimes those oh crap moments take them out of the game and sometimes those oh crap moments help them step up and realize that, you know, that's just how life is going to be. And so I hit the panic button, you know, and I like to be fully transparent. You know, I I have my things too. I have shit that I'm still dealing with, um, you know, as I don't know if you've ever heard this uh, saying, new level, new devil, right? Every time you like overcome something else, you're going to learn something else about yourself and you're going to keep going and going and going. And, you know, I know many of us think that like we start a diet and we hit that goal weight or we hit that PR or whatever. And you're like, good, I'm done. And I'm never going to have to do anything again. Uh, bullshit. You are going to have to do something, right? It That's just not how it works, right? If you are someone who's a, a goal seeker, you know, a lot of the people who listen to my podcast, you guys are A++ with a side of A++. You are always looking for that brass ring. We are always looking for that next level. The key here is that we got to sometimes slow down. And, you know, that pivot on last Thursday taught me I needed to slow down. And it was okay. You know, sometimes we, we, here we have to slow down and we take it as a setback that, oh, it's a sign. And, you know, we go on this whole dramatic diatribe about why we can't have what we want. And so, you know, I, I, took a good 24 hours of like, crap, what am I going to do? Right. So I typically get all of my stuff to my, my team by Friday. And I'm like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to have it to you by Friday, but I'm going to have it to you. (laughs) I'm like, give me till Sunday to figure this out. And you know, my VA Liana, she's like, Hey, why don't you just talk about why you started the podcast and you know, what you've learned along the way. And I'm like, girl, that is why you're on the payroll because, 
you know, sometimes you have to defer your brain to someone else. And that's part of the most powerful thing about coaching is that sometimes we can't see the trees for the forest because we're so close to ourselves. We are so, you know, in the weeds of our lives that we can't look like lift our heads up and be like, oh, it can, oh, I can turn right. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I can turn left. Right. We, we get so caught up in the, the doing that we, we don't have the wherewithal to do the strategy. And so this was a major pivot. And it made me think about how many of us this year have had major pivots. And the fact that a lot of it has been around our health and our fitness, right? You know, this pandemic came out of nowhere and it caused us to really look at how our lives were. And it caused me to look at how my life was. And prior to Rona, I was very, I'm going to air quote it. You can't say it, but I'm air quoting. I was very busy. And being forced to sit down showed me that my busy was causing me to hustle outside of where I wanted to be, right? What I was focusing my time and energy on was not where I wanted to go. And I want to ask you, right? So many people, when I first start working with you, I ask you, okay, so um, talk to me. What do you want to achieve in the next 30 days? And how can I be of support to you? Are you looking for accountability? Are you looking for strategy? Like, what are you looking for? And then I ask the next question. Okay, so if you told me accountability, what does accountability look like to you, right? Is it me being a cheerleader to you? Is it me giving you feedback? Is it just knowing that someone's looking over your shoulder so you can't, you know, blow yourself off? Like, what does that look like for you? And then when it comes to like structure or strategy, are we looking for strategy for like, how to like fit everything into your day. And that's one of my strengths is that, you know, I can help you look at your day and be like, all right, here are some holes. How do we take even five minutes to fit in a a meal prep or five minutes to fit in some type of workout, right? So when I started this podcast, I said, you know, what is happening to the women over 40? What's going on with them? And I said, first, they're getting a lot of misinformation, right? You know, I know I turned 40. I started putting on 10 pounds a year. I went to my doctor. And at this point, I was exercising. I was eating clean. I was like, I was doing all the things, air quoting again, I was doing all the things. And my doctor was like, yeah, you know, um, you should really try to stop eating sandwiches. She never asked me what I ate, but I had to stop eating sandwiches and I had to stop eating carbs. And it made me think to myself, how many other women are getting the same advice? And so I was like, you know what? I know that it's, I'm like, I'm not eating sandwiches. I haven't eaten a sandwich since I was 10. Um, I know it's not that. So I'm like, what is it? There's there's something. And it, it just set me on a quest because I'm like, some other woman who doesn't get all fired up like I do, is hearing this very same advice and she's just going to stop eating sandwiches, she's going to stop eating carbs, and she's just going to diet herself into oblivion so that she can take this weight off. And that is the worst thing you can do to over diet yourself, right? Because it just makes you just sometimes fatter. (laughs) And because that's what was happening to me. I was just getting fatter. And I was like, there had to be an answer. So I literally was like, I know I can figure this out. And so that's what I had to do. I had to take it and figure it out. And what I wanted to do was work with, you know, come on this podcast. And I have fabulous clients, but I'm like, this podcast will help me reach more and more people so that they know that it's not about labeling good food, bad food, that you don't have to be a certain weight, right? You know, I had a client who was stuck on trying to get back to her weight when she was in college. I'm like, dude, college was like 30 years ago. Like, come on, that ship has sailed. And it's working with the clients on the mindset, making that shift that is not about the scale weight, right? It's like most of us really don't give a shit about what the scale number says. We want to look in the mirror and we don't want to see a belly. We don't want to see cellulite. We don't want to see rolls on our body. That's what we're looking for. So we're looking more for a shape than we're looking for a weight. And, you know, I want women to break free of that. I need to eat a certain number of calories every day. And it's some rogue calorie number you found on Facebook or follow a certain diet or intermittent fast. You know, here's the thing, right? There is no end point, right? We start the the key, the the goal here is that we start with where we want to go, right? We get clear where the hell are we going? We make better choices, right? We're not, we don't 
take, we don't blame anyone else for their choices, right? If you choose that you are going to have a fun meal, own that shit, right? It's not, well, you know, I was at a wedding or, well, you know, it was date night or what? No, no, no. You said it was date night and I'm going to do this. Boom, boom, boom. You are a grown ass woman. Own that shit. And if that's the case, it's okay, right? I'm never going to be that coach that tells you, you can't go out and have fun foods. Like that is just asking you to like blow up and binge like nobody's business. But you have to own it and say, you know what? I'm going to go out. I'm going to, I'm going to have this fun meal and I'm not going to lose my shit. I'm going to be okay with it. And that's where I want you to focus on, like, what is the plan going into that, right? We need to have a plan and get creative. You know, many of you, your plans are what you've been doing for the last 20 years. Well, guess what? That shit ain't working. So it's time for you to say, okay, that shit ain't working. What do I need to do? I need to have the courage to do something different so that I can get a different result, right? Um, one of the, one of my biggest, uh, people that I love uh, is James Clare. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get out. One of the people people that I love is James Clare. And he, he has this quote and he says, it doesn't matter how successful or unsus- unsuccessful you are right now. What matters is whether your habits are putting you on the path towards success. And so that's what, what I always emphasize. It's like, what are the habits that you are doing right now? What is your process? You know, because if we go from Hard diet to hard diet to hard diet, hard diet. That's a process, right? But is that process making you successful, right? Are you taking a step back and saying, how successful are you? How successful are you going to be? Because at the end of the day, it's our process that gets us our progress. I hope that came through clear, right? It is our process. We have to have a process in order to see progress. So that when we have a process and things start to not go well, you can go back and you can say, oh yeah, oh snap, this is where, oh yeah, I see, I see, I see, right? Where a lot of us don't have that. We're like, well, intermittent fasting didn't work on the keto. Keto didn't work on the whole 30, right? So we just like, just move from diet to diet to diet where we start, where I encourage my clients to like really start to own who you are and like really connect into your body and connect into what your body needs so that you can ultimately hit your goals without having it to be hard. It doesn't have to be hard. Now, it can be uncomfortable. That uncomfortableness can make you be like, oh, oh, snap, I can't, I can't, I can't. But where I want you to really focus on is where do you want to go, right? And so, that leads me to how I, that leads me to this um, manifesto I wrote, right? So when I first started this business, I was asked, Kim, what is your vision? Like, where, where do you see this going? And at the time, that seemed huge. I was like, whoa, that's so big. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, you know, I felt like I didn't, I don't know if the word worthy, but I felt like I I didn't have to have a, I was, I was just this like near, mere mortal. Right. And I didn't have to have a vision. And then as I started writing, you know, I was at a, um, I was at a conference and I just started, I just started writing and I was like, all right, I'm just going to start writing down like what it is I feel. And so what it was is that how, this is how I wanted to feel in my life, right? So I'm going to start with that. I, I wanted, how I wanted to feel in my life is that I wanted to feel like a woman who was dedicated to living her best life, a life where I believed that anything is possible. I was devoted to breaking the rules and doubts that have kept me stuck sitting in my own self-imposed prison. I accept where I am today, but know that it's just temporary. I decide that I can be, do, have anything that I want. I am committed to living my best life. I define and know that I am worthy of living my best life. I am enough. I have enough and I do enough. I lead with grace over perfection. I am bold. I am free. I let go of the stories that have kept me stuck and sitting on the sidelines for my life. I go for what I want. It's okay for me to focus on one thing at a time. I will have more success over time when I do this. I have boundaries. It's okay for me to say no without an explanation. I do not have to agree 
to make others make, ugh, let me say that again. I do not need others to agree with me to make me feel okay. I can respectfully disagree. I stand in my own power. I happily accept responsibility for my own life. I am more in work in process and I can't wait to just uncover me. I am unique. I believe that things will unfold on its own timeline. I can't force it. I am passionate. I am fierce. I am loving. I am fierceness wrapped in gentleness. Flip-flops are how I express my freedom. I let my life be easy. It's flip-flops on my feet and sun in my face every single day. I believe life is like wearing flip-flops every single day, right? So that's the vision that I wrote down when I said, that's what I wanted my life to be, right? I wanted my my life to be the flip-flop life. And many of you, if you've been following me, you've probably heard me say that um, expression, right? You know, I love, I love being in the sun. I love going to the beach. That's just, that's just like my jam. That's just like my happy place. And so when I started this podcast, I started my business. I said, that's, that's what I'm trying to get all women to be. That's what I'm trying to get all women to feel like. And so then it was, um, it was like, okay, Kim. So if you had to write a manifesto for your, for your podcast, you know, what is it? You know, what are you looking for your podcast to be? And I said, well, the women who come to my podcast, I'm going to call them magic makers, right? Because many of you think that people who are fit, they're like magic, right? That they're like these magical beings that like kind of just like, you know, show up out of nowhere. You know, it's kind of like those women who have like clean homes all the time, even if they got kids, right? You walk in and it's like photo shoot ready. And I'm like, who are these women? Because <laughs> my house is never like that. My husband would love my house to be that way, but it ain't. <laughs> I really tried, but I am just not that person. And so I said that, you know, they are, um, these women are, they're looking for their consistency, right? They're, they're looking for their consistency because they know that they are, when they find consistency, they've earned their easy, and that they have the body of the dreams and they feel good in their body at all the time, right? They don't have to hustle anymore to make it happen faster. They love what they see in their bodies and they honor commitments to themselves as much as they honor commitments to anybody else. And so they show up for what's up and they understand the fit girl magic formula. And that fit girl magic formula is great habits lead to great routines. Those routines lead to consistency. And that consistency is what ultimately is going to get you those long lasting results, right? So that's where I want everyone here to start to feel like that's, that's the main gist of this podcast, right? Is that I bring in people to help you understand the just the shit in your life that is going to derail you or may possibly derail you, right? We've talked about sleep, menopause, hormones, birth control, veganism. We've talked about money. We've talked about divorce. We've talked about dating. You know, I've talked about stress, you know, so I'm bringing more and more people in. Um, We've talked about mobility. You know, I'm having in the next few weeks, I'm having people come in and we're going to talk about how do you deal with your aging parents? Um, We're going to talk about ADHD, right? We There's so many things that I have on my list to talk about. We're going to talk about gut health um, and really break down how this all factors into our lives so that you can make educated choices. You know, so many people say, Kim, how do you learn all this stuff? It's like, I, I read a lot, (laughs) but I'm all about how do I make educated choices? How do I ask better questions so that when you do go to your doctors, you can ask the, the smarter questions. You can not just sit there and just take what they say to you. Or you're scrolling through the interwebs and you see some bullshit and you could be like, that's bullshit. And know that it's bullshit versus being sucked in because, you know, the the font was really good, right? That's what the focus of Fake Girl Magic um, podcast. And that's where I'm going is that I just want you to feel confident in your body. Give yourself grace and know that where you are is just temporary, right? That you don't have to suffer to get the results. And that weight is just a a point in time, right? 
it's just a, it's just a stepping point. You are a magic maker. You decide what it's going to be, right? Well, you have to, in order to get to that easy point, we have to find things that are realistic for us, that we are excited about, that we can make a plan for ourselves in our lives, and then it's ultimately sustainable. And the operative word is plan. You know, so many people, the plan is just so haphazard. And, you know, especially, you know, let me just talk workouts, right? So I'm going to scroll through Instagram and I'm going to see whatever workout like looks really cool. And I'm going to do that, right? Where with a workout, it has to be, there has to be progression, right? There has to be, this is how it goes through. You know, there's three, you know, most, uh, most workout feet, Work, most workouts have three phases where you have, you know, um, a high, tri- uh, you have an endurance phase, you have a strength phase, and you have a maintenance phase. So it's like, are we building muscle? Are we, you know, you know, building endurance in our muscle? Are we maintaining what we have? And it's kind of like has this undulating um, process so that, you know, based on what your goals are, based on where you're going, you know, you're, you're going through the periodization. Oh my God, I said it right. Usually whenever I try to say periodization, it comes, I just find a way to bastardize that completely. But yeah, there is a periodization to that so that we can understand how to get you through fat loss and muscle muscle gaining. And so it all, you know, comes, it all comes through that it's like, you know, whether you're a beginner all the way up into you are a advanced exercise person, it's all kind of, um, it all works through, it all works through a process. And so when you have that process, you aren't, you know where you're going, right? It's a um, roadmap. That's the word I'm looking for. It is a roadmap of, to success. And so that, you know, and the phases are anywhere from, you know, two to four, sorry, it's anywhere from four to six weeks as you go through this cycle. And so um, when you're hopping from uh, workout to workout, it's really hard to see progress, to see um, momentum, right? We all want, or even seeing if you're able to like lift heavier seeing if you're able to lift heavier weights. So that's my ultimate goal for all of you is that we show up, we handle the the, the challenges that are, are presented to us. The challenges are what is going to help us grow. The challenges are what is going to help us, you know, show up for, for ugh, show up for what's up. And, you know, what I do want to leave, one last thing I want to um, leave you with, leave you with is that I know that some of you you got you get caught up in this perfection, right? It that you need to you know whatever it is you tell yourself, right? If you tell yourself that you have to have you know five workouts a day, five workouts a day, five workouts a week, and you need to have X number of calories or X number of macros, and if you don't hit any of those calories or macros then it's a sign. You suck and you know, you're gonna just restart again on Monday and it's gonna go like you're gonna go hard. Or maybe you are really good all week and then Saturday night you go out for a glass of wine and that turns into two glasses and that turns into jalapeno peppers and then that turns into a whole pizza and then Sunday morning you wake up and you're just like, you know, you know, recommitting to yourself. This is what I want you to say is that The first mistake is never going to ruin you, right? It's the spiral that happens after that, right? That first mistake, think of it as this. And I think many of you have heard me say this before. It's like a um, flat tire. We're driving along. We get one flat tire. We have three other tires. Do we hop out and, you know, stab all the rest of the tires? That's assuming you're rubbing around with a sharp knife. But do you stab the rest of the, the tires or do you say, oh, crap, flat tire, and you change it on your own? Or if you're someone like me, you're like, AAA, I need some help, right? Is that, is that what you do? And so I want you to think about that. It, it, it's what, it's an accident, right? When I start 
doing it over and over again. And I stop when I make one mistake and I'm like, well, I've made one mistake. I might as well just, you know, go down the rabbit hole. That's now you're now forming a habit, right? You're now forming a habit. And if you have that habit of always starting in on Monday, 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 let's talk, right? Because I, 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 I was there, right? I made myself a lot of empty promises, <laughs> a lot of empty promises, but let's talk. Let's talk and let's see how I can best support you, how I can help you break break free of this, how I can help you find some of your fit girl magic. So I want to thank you guys so much for those of you who have listened from episode one to episode now. Um, this episode wasn't exactly how I had planned, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm really excited that I just was able to just kind of come on and just literally like riff with you guys and just talk from the heart. And if you love this episode, do me a favor, share it with somebody, screenshot it, and just throw it out onto the socials and let them know it's something that they should be listening to. All right, my magic makers, you are Fit Girl Magic. You've helped me make this into a 100-episode show, over 25,000 downloads. Um, You guys rock. Thank you so much for all of it. And I can't wait for the next 100 episodes. Thank you for listening to the Fit Girl Magic Podcast. If you've made it this far, yay. I'm thinking you enjoyed the show. Let's continue the conversation on Instagram. You can find me at Kim Jefferson Coach. In order for me to keep sharing this message, do me a favor and leave me a five-star review on iTunes. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss an episode. New episodes are available every Wednesday. The Fit Girl Magic Podcast is intended to provide you with tips, tools, and strategies that will help you make better decisions about your health. I really appreciate your feedback and your support. Thank you so much.